back to our series of videos on computational thinking. We're here from the First Tech Challenge program, and this is the third in our series of videos about computational thinking and First Tech Challenge blocks programming. Computational thinking can be a tough subject to really wrap your head around, so we've tried to explain the notion using painting and color theory as a guide. So in this section, we are going to expand on the computational thinking concept by equating it to baking and creating a cake from a recipe. Sounds like I maybe should have had lunch before we started, eh? It's too late for that now, my friend, because here we go! When you think about a delicious chocolate cake, you most likely are thinking about how you enjoy its rich flavor and creamy smooth texture. But do you ever think about the ingredients that make up that delicious, creamy, smooth goodness? Like, what is it that makes a cake so delicious? Hmm, delicious flavor and texture? Well, I know for sure that you'll definitely need chocolate or cocoa to make it a chocolate cake. Yes, and that is a declarative statement. The what? It's a fact that you need cocoa to make a cake chocolate flavored. Let's dive a little deeper. Have you ever considered cooking involves a fixed set of operations? Stir, heat, chill, slice, as well as a fixed set of inputs? Sugar, flour, eggs, and chocolate. And from these components, a virtually unbounded number of dishes can be made. Right, and a completed dish is really just the outcome of a step-by-step -step instructional guide called a recipe that requires very specific measurements and mixtures of its individual parts known as the ingredients. That's the imperative, the how, just like the painting instructions example. Exactly. And remember, to decompose a chocolate cake, you need to think of all the ingredients or inputs needed for that delicious flavor and texture, not just the cocoa. The ingredients must be mixed together in the correct order, and if followed step by step, the set of instructions achieves a desired outcome. Right. So if we change an ingredient, it changes the outcome. Exactly. Maybe a slightly subtler change. Maybe add more chocolate or spice it up with some chili powder. Sounds spicy and delicious. True. The result might be delicious, but depending on how much chili powder you add, it may be disgusting. So relating this back to writing software, changing the ingredient in a recipe is like changing the input to an algorithm. You'll now produce a different cake, if it's a cake at all. Replace flour with beans and you no longer have a cake, you have baked sweet chocolate beans. The order in which the correct ingredients are mixed is also very important. What? That doesn't matter, does it? thought you could just mix it all together at the same time. You can, but you won't always get the desired result. For example, if you mix the egg whites and sugar together, you might end up with meringue. I see your point here. Totally different texture and outcome. The ingredients or the inputs in the order in which we perform operations on them is like the order of instructions that comprise an algorithm. Oh, I get it. And I guess from now on, writing software will make me hungry. Well, join us next time as we continue to explore problem solving, decomposition, and analysis. It sounds like a blast. Hopefully it's less delicious sounding. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone.